welcome to the coding class. This is a Python class, and um, we are beginning with a basic understanding of Python. When we talk about Python, Python is actually a high level language which enables you to do a whole lot of um, things, including building website, creating robust systems, training artificial intelligence models, and so on and so forth. In fact, Python is very complex. It has a lot of libraries we can use in building our application. It's my main objective that at the end of this program, or at the end of our studies with Python, you should be able to create your own um, bit application. Now you can actually play with it, or you can create a large scale system for people to use. Right. The last time we joined the class, I introduced to you the VS Code, that's the Visual Studio Code, this software. Then I also sent you a link to download the Python on your machine so that you can install the Python itself, the software, and run it through the Visual Studio Code. Today, apparently, what we are going to do is to start our Python programming. And since I've already shared the materials with you, I will begin. Uh, today's class is a one-hour session at the end. We will actually um, do um, try to do one or two things. I will see if I can schedule during the weekends and do more practical things. We have to. We have a lot to cover in this Python programming. Today, our main focus is to learn how to output something, or how to output to your to a user, and also how to input or accept input from a user. So for example, how to print, hello, good morning, or how to print, um, hey, welcome, or how are you? Then again, we will actually build another program whereby we will allow the user to input. So you ask the user, um, um, what's your age? The user will, the program will tell us, okay, this user is age 15, age 16, and so on. And so forth. So today's topic is basic input and output of Python. How we can actually um, um, do basic input and output of Python. So I would advise you to open your Python, um, the Visual Studio Code. Then you can actually start with me. So we will start with the basic output. How to output something in Python. So you can see from my screen. On the top here so you open for those um here to open a file you'll go to the top here today i'm using um, windows i'm running windows on a window so um, everything is windows so you you will go here you go to you click on file then you click on you click on new file new file when a new file opens, you save it. You right click it and save it. You right click it and save it. When you save it, you will save it. Dot py. Dot py. Uh, you can see I save mine as test. Dot py. So in HTML, we used dot HTML. Here, we Python, we are dot py so that we can run it. And I believe you also follow the video to install your extension. So let's check the extension. This extension. So I hope you follow the video to install the extension so that your program will run. Right. Now, after that, after you open saving your test.py, you start, you start our programming. In Python programming language, In Python programming language, what you use to actually print out your 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 display is print. So you you actually your your output format or command is called is print. So you can see from my screen here, I want to print good morning to my users. I want to print good morning to my users. 
you will bring your friends, then in the brackets, then you will actually input whatever you want. Now, when you input, you are not done. You have to pick a single code. Please take note, not a double code. It's a single code. So you just press on the on the, on the double code button on your keyboard. It will give you a single code. Then inside it, you will print whatever or you type whatever you want to print to your users. So for example, let's print. So we can say print bracket single code. Hello. Welcome to my first writing up. That's this. Then you can run it. So you can go top here and click on run. You can click on start debugging, of which is going to debug for you here. So we still debug here. You wait so you can see hello world welcome to my first Python app to the body actually simple for you let's go by again okay now let's try and print another one so you say print so please you can try it print single quotes welcome please in Python it's it's actually easy so you need but you do you see when I made it come out like just do your way, right? Let's type it in small and do your way. So I'm saying print welcome. You click on run from your menu to click on start debugging. Then you can see welcome. Now you can see here it has printed a hello wall. It has printed hello people welcome to my first first python up then welcome because we are printing two instances the first one we are printing this the second one we are printing this okay claudia is asking a question sorry please my extension i tried to download it it starts the process and it seems fit um claudia i hope see so let, let, let me check here so in your extension the first one that has a python please did you select the first one python or if you can't see just type python here there will be a lot of extension i want you to select the first one that python okay then after selecting the python install you click on install please make sure you have um, a strong connection make sure you have a strong connection and click install from here install okay so when you did that it starts the series field right um uh, let me see that's your your, your visual code is you any um, because some of them it will give you suggestion here that you want to visit out can you please see your your, your VS code, reopen it and start again. Close your VS code, reopen it and try 
doing it again. Because you will need a section to run, to run your programs. So please close it and try it again and let me know what happened. Right. Now let's try and print another one. So let's say print. So we are saying print. So let's say hello, Nipsey. Hello. I'm going to run. You can run without the bugging. So you can see here. It says hello new city it's here is anyone having a problem with running running the code Claudia how far it is So you let us know how far you got it to. We are still facing the challenge. Right, so we, we can print another one. So print. So um, welcome to. I can yeah. now you can see it's underlined. Let's run it. So here it's telling us a whole lot of um, um error code. The main error we did here is we actually forgot to bring the codes if you forget to bring the codes your code is not okay it's still installing but it took a little safe field let so um right now has it has it feel like right now Okay, so let's wait for it to see. Maybe it will come. Right. Now, um, then you give us updates when it comes. Now, um, yes, so our code is telling us if it couldn't run, and giving us all this error message because we didn't bring our code. So this here tells you the importance or the importance of this code without it your code not run so you make your code to prevent any issue not one but two codes then you can run it again so you go to run run without the bargain so here it comes hello city Welcome to my Python demo. Any questions? So we can run the ball. Now we can print. A message we can print a message we can print a message then attach a parameter to it then we will actually print both messages together we can print a message and attach a parameter and again our results will print both messages together so for example Let's see. 
Thanks. Oh, we see. Welcome. Then we want to attach a parameter to it. Okay. Now we are saying we attach a parameter to it. What is the parameter we are attaching? We are defining that here. You come to the left and say welcome to my right end up. Now let's run it and see what's going to happen. So you can see it says welcome to my Python app. It has printed them together. Welcome to my Python app. It has printed them together. So in Python, you can print and attach a parameter where the parameter is going to call the next print in addition to your first print. So here we print the first print was welcome. Then we attach an end parameter. We attach a parameter end. Then we define or we brought another point. Our output is going to combine these two together and give it to us as a one print. So welcome to my Python app. So let me let me let me try to bring the comma here. So welcome to my Python app. Please, any question? Anyone who don't understand me, tell me. Okay. Now we can also print um 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 we can also print our our output using definitions so second variables and using definitions. So for example for example we can define, we can set a variable to a certain, we can set a variable to a certain number, a certain function. Then we call that function, for example, so we are saying number should be equal to, a double quote should be equal to 111666. Okay. Then we say name should also be equal to my telephone line. Now we can print this. So we come print. Since we are going to call a function, since we are going to call a function. Okay, now they okay. That's good. Now try and try and catch up with us. That's good. Since we are going to we are going to call a function. We want to bring a quote. Please take note. 
since we are going to call a function, we want many input. So you will just say print name. So we are printing name, and then next we will print number. So from here you can see to print these functions. Here, what we've done here is assign a variable to a function. Then we are going to print that function. Printing that function will bring the variable which is assigned to it. A function number. Then we've assigned a variable one one six 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 to it. Then we have a function name. And we've assigned a variable a variable my telephone line is to it now we are going to print the function name and print the function variable that the function number and the function name which is actually going to call the respective variables we've assigned to these functions so let's run our code So you can see it, it run and says my telephone line is one 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 six six six. Any question, please? Now, we will do another example on this one. Functions, then move on to the next one. Another example to be can do here is we can do here is so we are we want to say welcome. It's, it's, it should be always be a number, it can be anything. So let's see our, let's see, store. We are doing store. So you can choose any function name you want. It shouldn't be specifically a number for you. You can choose any function you want, provided this which is with the one quotation doesn't apply when using them. With a one quotation, it yes, when using the print. When you are using the function, you use double quotation. Very important. Here. When you are using a function, you use double, double quotation. But it's when you are printing, but even when you are printing, it's when you are printing a real variable, not when you are printing a function. So for example, Let's um, do something here. So stop. So for example, here, this is my function stop. It's storing a variable one 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 six six six. Now my function name is storing a variable. My telephone line is. Now I'm printing function name and function store here. I don't need to bring any code. In an event where I want to print a variable straight, from, I have to bring a code. So let's say, thank you. So you can, this is different from this, and it is from, from this. This is a function where we assign variable to it. And we are going to call that function, which will in turn call the variable for us so it's like we are hiding something and two quotation is used with out the print yes so two quotation is used without yes without the print so you you when 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 you are actually using this function you use two when you are printing it's one or when you are printing it's either when you are printing the function you don't bring any quotation 
So what we the, the real meaning or the real life meaning of the fraction is let's say we want to give someone money, but we don't want to have the money to the person just in hand. So we have actually put the money in an envelope, then handed the envelope to the person. Now, when the person gets the envelope, what the person is expecting is not the envelope, but rather the money. So the person will open the envelope and take the money out. As simple as that. So that is the meaning of the function. Even though we want to print my telephone line is 111666, we don't want to go straight and print and do this. Now, we don't want to go straight and print this. One, my, my telephone line is 11166. Even though we can do it, we can do just this straight forward and get our results. Here, what we are doing here is we have actually encapsulated it. Encapsulation is a process whereby we place a printers on objects. And this object can be accessed through the operators. So you want to give something or a gift to someone. You don't want to have a gift just like that in the person's hand. So you put the, or you, you wrap the gift with the wrapper and give the wrapper or yes, the wrapped item to the person. Now the person is not expecting the wrapper. What the person is expecting is the gift. So the, when the person gets, gets the wrapper, the wrapper is not needed for the person. Inside the wrapper is what the person is expecting. So the person will open the wrapper and take out the gift. That's the meaning behind the function. We want to print my telephone line is 111666, but we don't want to just go straight and print one one. My telephone line is 111666. Here, we have actually encapsulated it. We have actually placed an operator on the object. So the operator here is a function. And the function, we are using function store. The function in the function store, you can find an object 111666. In the function name, you can find the object my telephone line is. Now we come to the next line and print the function. So we come to the next line and give out the gift or the wrapped gift, the wrapper. So we give out the function and the function, the print here is going to expose whatever is in the function for us. So when we run it, it actually gave us not the name, it doesn't print the name or it didn't print the store. It actually printed what is in the name, what is in the store. So let's try and bring three forward to this one and see. We'll start the bag. Now you can see it printed off for us. So here it printed the name print function name. Print function name here is my telephone line is and print function store one 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 six six six. Now it came to the next line and print the street. My telephone line is 11166. So you can see my telephone line is 11166. Then it printed our last line as thank you. Thank you for us. Please, any question or anyone who doesn't be able to run. Okay, now our next approach is printing concatenated strings. Concatenated strings. Now, when we talk about concatenated, 
best way. Concatenated, concatenated things. What is concatenated things? Now, you realize that let me give first example and let's analyze something. Hello, come to the next slide. So we are saying uh, welcome. Best friends that Now, what pattern is welcome? There is a way whereby we will just use only one pattern line to print both of these. So it will be like head and welcome together. It's called concatenated strings. So, example of concatenated strings is like print. Into bracket, it will be like so the printing of two separate strings that in the same printing line. So you say hello, and we'll bring a plus sign. Welcome. So we are going to print this. Now you can see, hello, welcome. So let me bring this. So you can see what concatenated strength does it. It prints strings together without you needing to type hello, print, 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 print. It can print strings together. Please, any question? Any question, please? Okay. We can let's try. Now we can also do uh, the, the so you can apply the function also here. So let's say uh, function store function store function store is equal to uh, hello. And function uh, function 
one. So let's see what is welcome. So at least we come again with the class function. Okay, so the class function is, is called concatenated strings. And what it does is it combines two strings together. So for example, I have these two separate functions. I want to print them together. So we'll print and I'll say hello. So plus go. Store plus gone. So here it should be able to print these two together without necessarily going to print going to without necessarily printing print store print gone. So this time when we are doing both of them together. So print store plus gone. So you can see, hello, welcome, it has printed both together. How are you working? Okay. Now, let's move on to the next one. Input. How to take input from a user how to take input from a user so the first one we did is output we are coming to take input from a user So we will actually ask, or we will actually assign an empty space for the person. So we will say, um, so that this num is going to store whatever the user is going to enter. So here we will be, we will be like, enter a number. We will ask the user to enter a number. Then you try and print that number. So print. So we are saying you entered then we call the function. We call this function here. Yeah. First, we, we, we actually define a function. Now, this is where we are going to store whatever the person is going to enter. Now, input is a function we need to pick whatever the person is going to enter. So we will ask the person, enter a number. Then, after the person entering the number, we will also output whatever the number the person entered to him. So you will say, friends, you entered, then we call the function, calling this function, it will review whatever the person entered here. So then we call the function here now. Let's run. So it's asking, enter a number. So let's see, I said number um, 85, number 85, 85, then I press enter. So you can see, you entered 85, very simple. Yes, it's needed bring it 
it's needed. Okay, so let's do another example. So we are saying enter a number. So enter a number. Uh, enter a number. No. So enter a number. So we have the number. You press enter, you press 10, 90. As simple as that. So this is how you can actually take numbers or take inputs from the user. Now, input, we have so many different types of inputs. We have numbers, words. When it's a number, you can't input a letter. So we are going to learn how to be specific on what we want from a user. Okay, here we were specific saying enter a number. How to be more specific. We will bring in data types. So the next time, the next lesson, we are going to learn data types. Data types we have, we have strength. Strength is not a number. Strength is used to actually um, take characters, so letters. And we have integers, they are also used to take in integers. Today, we are able to learn how to output and how to input, or how to build simple application in Python to input also. <clears throat> and also output in our program. Place any question before the class ends. So you can actually do more examples on it. We will continue on our next meeting. Thank you for today's class.